as I'm doing this kit, I'm noticing that uh, there's a little bit of an inner frame thing going on with these high grades now. Not just the Zaku one in general, but I've been noticing that most of the high grades coming out these days have kind of an of, uh, inner frame, I guess, going on. So here's the, uh, what is this, the left arm? Yeah, it's the left arm. See, this part is all inner framed underneath this bicep here. There's some more frame. And then only this part is, uh, well, actually, there's a little bit of inner frame in that one as, as well. It's not connected directly into this one yet, but yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. So that's something cool that I'm uh, figuring out as I'm completing this, this model kit onto the next arm. I finally have the arm done. And there's a ooh, good bit of articulation in the elbow. Double joint, ball joint hand. On to the legs. Once again, we see some framework. See the uh, thigh there going into the lower leg. That is so cool. I'm so surprised that the high grade kits are now getting more and more of a not master grade and not real grade, but just, you know, some more detail to their scale. I remember originally they were just pretty much all hollow and cheap feeling. And now, now we get some inner framework for uh, most of the body. So that is so cool. I'm very, very pleased so far by building this. More of that inner framework. And we have the lower leg portion. Looking very, very cool. I like it a lot. And then later on, all I have to do is just, uh, yeah, just pop this one on. Oh, which one's which? It doesn't really matter. Just pop this on. Yeah. Wow. Oops, out of frame. That looks so good. That looks really, really good. That looks like master grade level good. I'm really, really impressed and happy with this kit right now. All right, let's finish this up. Finish the torso, and I gotta say, it looks actually really, really good. Um, yeah, if I had to compare the size of this thing, I would say it's pretty close to the Robot Damashi uh, Zaku too. I haven't put any stickers on it yet, but um, you know, I just wanted to wait until everything's done. I put a little Zaku machine gun pack on there just to see how it fits but yeah so far so good so I don't know if uh, maybe I dropped a piece or anything like that but I've noticed that um, there's a connection piece missing a plug basically and uh, it's this one right here that fits into the shoulder socket and uh, connects the arm to the shoulder basically um, now you get two different versions of the upper arm I'm just gonna go ahead and say that right now for this kit and uh, they both utilize this I don't know if I dropped one or cut one off on accident and left it somewhere but they use the same piece connection part to connect the ankle and the leg meaning the foot to the leg um, so now I'm down a piece but uh, so if I want to have this shield or something or if I want to have a certain arm uh, connected one or the other I have to lose one of these pieces I can't use both or whatever so that really sucks uh, it's unfortunate and I thought I was just gonna be able to swap each part out as I wanted but I, I don't know like I don't know if I dropped a piece or what so there's that part of uh, this kit that I have come into difficulty with but that's okay the kit so far has been entirely excellent so I'll just continue on and uh, decide which arm I don't want to use. So, oh well.